today i'm going to show you guys how i transform this image from looking like this to this so we are going to start from chat gpt where i generated the background of the image the photoshop where i blended the background with this original image and achieve this end result and also if you want to lay your hand on the psd file it will be on my telegram channel so you can use the link under the description of this video to join my telegram channel and download the psd file so without any further ado let's get to it so what i did is i grabbed my phone and used the normal chat gpt app and also you can use your normal browser and uh uh, visit chat gpt it will give you the same thing so i open my app so as you can see what i did is i first give it i uh, gave it a prompt like create an image of Hausa cultural bu uh, buildings with uh, buildings background of nigeria create an image of Hausa cultural buildings background of nigeria so this is the result that it generated for me as you can see all right this is the the result that i got at first and i feel is not uh, good enough then i gave it the second uh, second prompt i want the building seen from i want the building seen far from area with beautiful grass and four by five aspect ratio and it give me this next result as you can see this is the result that it gave me next and then i feel that i still need for some changes then i ask it to give me golden hour fill in the image so it generated this result for me and uh, i still felt that i still need for some adjustment so that's how you can keep going on chat gpt until you achieve your desired image then i uh, then i gave it the next prompt like i don't want the golden hour field but give me sand ground on the foreground and also negative space on both left and right side of the buildings and it generated this image for me well this is close to what i was expecting then i gave it the last prompt i want the building seen far from area with be uh, with beautiful grass but still showing some sun ground and four by five aspect ratio and it gave me this final result as you can see so i just downloaded this final result and then send it to my computer so let's get back to photoshop and see how i blended this final result that i generated with my original image so here's the image we generated from chat gpt that's the background layer so going back to our photoshop as you can see if we uh, take a look at our original image here what i first did is i first separated my subject from the background which is here on this layer is where i separated my subject from the background as you can see here my subject is standing out from the background so what i did next is i imported the background we generated from chat gpt and placed it right under my subject layer here and then i added some level of blurry to the background layer so that my subject can stand out from the background but as you can see the image is a bit blue and i tilt at it a bit which uh, created this negative space as you can see on the left and right side of the image what i did on the background layer i just go to filter blur gallery and added some level of tilt shift blurry to the background so what i did next is i let me dis uh, disable the subject layer what i did next is i have a solid layer again on top of the background layer so on the layer is where i did content aware and fill the negative space on the left and right side of the image as you can see here's the before and then here is the after so let's enable back our subject layer here as you can see but what's the issue here is that we are not having a realistic uh, shadow on the on the on the ground which means our subject is kind of looking like she is flying on the background so what i did on the next layer is i created a uh, yeah, is i uh, recover some shadow original shadow from the original image what i did here is let me disable the layer mask here sorry so as you can see what i did is i just duplicated the original layer and place it right above my subject layer and recover some level of shadows just right under under her as you can see so let me enable back the layer here as you can see if i do before and after as you can see we are having some 
original shadows from our original image and then the layer above is where i can increase some level of saturation on the uh, on the background uh, on the on the shadow that i recover right under her as you can see there there is kind of less saturation on the shadow area so what i did is i created a hue and saturation layer i clip it to the shadow and then i increase my saturation on the shadows as you can see if you do before after before and after so this is exactly what i did on this layer so next what i did is i kind of reduce the level of highlight on her clothes so that i can recover some uh, some details on her clothes so what i did is i just match and created another solid layer here and then i go to camera row and dial down my highlight which gave me this result as you can see before and after the next layer above is where i bring in some level of grass so that i can spice up the foreground as you can see but as you can see they are a bit too bright so what i did is i added hue and saturation layer above where i darken the grasses on the foreground and then i balance the color so that it can match with the rest of the image so as you can see here's the before and then here is the after and then layer above is where i bring in this uh branch of three so that we can have something uh also in the foreground of the image so that we can spice up the image a bit but as you can see it's also too bright so what i did is i also create another hue and saturation layer above and darken the branch a bit as you can see here's the before and then here is the after so the layer above is where I added my uh, color look of table dash lot, the lot that I used to color grade my image. So here is one of my outdo lot as you can see before and after. And then also I added some uh, a level of uh, skill lot right above the uh, outdo lot. Here is uh, one of my skill lots that I added to the image. I feel it works for me. So let me enable it so that you can see how it can it kind of adds some uh, warm to the uh, to the brown brown colors to the image uh, on the image so let's do before after before and after it kind of adds some level of contrast to the brown areas of the image like her clothes uh, uh, like her skin and the building behind her and then what I did lastly is I add some level of dust part uh, dust particle on the image so let's do after this is where i added the dust so let's do before and after so this is basically what i did to create this image or to transform this in uh, this image from looking like this to this and don't forget you can also have access to the psd file on my telegram channel so use the link under the description of this video to visit my telegram channel and download the psd file if you want to play around with it so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something and uh, don't forget to like, share as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel. See you on the next one.